so we're going to start off with the square. So when you have the video file on the timeline, it's going to be 1920 by 1080. So what you do is you go to your project properties. So once you hit change the width to 1080 and the height to 1080, hit apply uh, and you should bring it down to this. Now we still have a problem here. Uh, we still got the black bars. So how you get rid of that is uh, you go to your video file, um, you click to your event pan slash crop or your video event FX. Uh, what you do is then uh, you go down to your drop menu and you click one to one square aspect ratio, pretty straightforward, just like this. And you have uh, your nice little square. Another technique is to put it back on default. If you don't have that, what you can do is you can also uh, resize it like this. Just dragging the sides, um, dragging a bit of the top <clears throat> till you reach uh, that square. Um, so the other problem that you may run into is when you're scrubbing through uh, the subject, um, the subject gets knocked out of frame. So what you can do to solve this issue is you just keyframe. So uh, you do some camera manipulation in post. So I'm gonna keyframe here. I am gonna move slightly to the left to place him back in frame. And there you go. So just coming through and the subject stays within the frame. All right. so. After that, you hit File, Render As, and then I already have my square template up. But uh, what you do is you can go to any old uh, template. Obviously, you're going to render to MP4 for Instagram. Uh, you hit the Customize Template. Um, you go to Custom Frame Size, and you change it to 1080, and select your frame rate. Uh, but this is the most important part. The width goes to 1080, and the height is 1080 and the project, you can use project settings and so forth. And you hit okay, and then you render that and you will get a square like so. Now we're gonna go to a more tricky render, which is the portrait one. So it's a similar technique. Uh, you hit your project properties. Um, this time you have to change the height to uh, 1352. So portrait, a perfect portrait on Instagram is 1080 uh, by 1352. You hit apply. And now you get this, okay? So um, as you can see here, there is a problem. We do have the black bars on top. So uh, you open your video event FX again, your event pan slash crop. And what you do this time is from the sides, you have to drag in, drag in, drag in till the bars are gone. And then you drag to the side, okay? And there we go. So we got this and if you see, I don't know if you can really see, but there's still some black bars on top. And usually how I get rid of this is I go to source and maintain aspect ratio. I go no. And that gets rid of the black bars. Close that and you go file, render as. Uh, you select your settings. Uh, we'll go back here. Go to customize template and then custom frame size and this time it's 1080 and the height is 1352 and do your settings so forth hit OK and hit render and yeah your final product should output nicely onto Instagram if you guys are interested in these kind of videos, um, this channel is going to be right up your alley. So please hit that subscribe button so that I can continue to make these videos. So that's about it, guys. Um, you can follow me at iTerrenceI on Instagram. And yeah, have a great day, guys. This is your boy, Terrence, signing out. Peace.